So, given that ABCD is a parallelogram, a student wrote the proof below to show that a pair of sides of its opposite angles is congruent. He wrote ABCD is a parallelogram. That was given to us. He wrote that BC is congruent to AD. Whoops. And that AB was congruent to DC. And he said that's because opposite sides of a parallelogram is congruent. He also said that AC is congruent to CA. I don't know why the hell he wrote CA on the right side and AC on the left side when he could have just wrote AC on both sides. But, you know, students is going to do what they're going to do. Anyway, the way you mark that is with a little X. That's whenever it's reflexive. And then the student went ahead and said that triangle ABC is congruent to triangle CDA. Well, that's this triangle up here is congruent to this triangle down here. And then he said angle B is congruent to angle D. That's this angle and that angle. And the reason why that's true is because those are corresponding parts of congruent triangles. And whenever you have corresponding parts of congruent triangles, they're congruent. How do you find the corresponding parts? You find the angles that are across from the same side. Angle B and angle D, they're across from the same side. They're both across from that side AC. Now, how would you do it in a triangle that's a little bit more complicated where they don't have the same exact side? Well, let's say you had triangle ABC was congruent to triangle XYZ with the pairs of sides shown being congruent. In other words, XY being equal to AB, BC being equal to YZ. The ones that have the double marks go together, the ones that have the triple marks go together. Well, you would just do it like this. You would find the two angles that are across from the congruent sides. So, I found in triangle XYZ, the angle X was across from the side with a double mark. And in triangle ABC, angle A was across from the side with a double mark. Likewise, angle Y is congruent to angle B because they're both across from the triple mark. And angle Z is congruent from angle C to angle C because they're both across from the single mark. So if for whatever proof I was doing, this over here was given to me, then the reason why all these angle pairs are congruent is because corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. So our reason, we could just put CPC, TC, and don't quote me on this, but I think you get full credit for the reasons by just putting that abbreviation instead of putting corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. You can just put CPCTC.